Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the Bones tool to help your character animation so you can make your characters in Flash um, keyframe animate and have fluid movements and kind of speed up the process of animation. So um, the Bones tool is right here in Flash. You can see it looks just like a little bone. And I've been playing around with it. And you can see that my um, first attempt was, you know, kind of semi-successful here in that I've got this armature set up with the bones tool so that I can take the different pieces of this character and move them around but the problem is it doesn't really take advantage of I think the um, power of the tool in creating um, multiple um, limbs and allowing those to move in a fluid manner in other words if you look at this other flash file that I created if I click on this and drag it you can see that these movie clips have been linked together with the bones tool to create an armature or rig and that allows for this kind of fluid motion that could be really neat for you know like a wagging tail or a sail breezing or something like that something blowing in the wind um, also this was a, um, a shape that I drew with just the paintbrush and then as I started to add the bones it um, you could add a bone armature to it and then so this is just one movie clip right that now has this this armature hooked up to it right so it's just one movie clip right whereas this one is a bunch of movie clips so now what I'm going to attempt to do is with um, I've improved the puppet little alien character a little bit by making sure that this arm here has you know um, an elbow joint and a wrist joint and then maybe what we could do is is use the bone tool to create an armature so that we could move his arm in a much more kind of complex way as opposed to just with this character where it was just these pieces hooked up and, and the motion can only get too advanced here not not very advanced so we're gonna try to, I'm gonna try to do that right here and one thing I'm gonna need to do is is convert this one movie clip I'm gonna do it by converting it into um, possibly three movie clips or I might not even be have to do that I could just let's try it out right now take this movie clip right double click on it inside of it it's just a shape right so let's see if we can just do it so I'll grab the bone tool and I'll click where I want to pivot it so I'll click here to let's say here right and then I'll click from here to here and then from here to here, right? And now we'll see. Now you can see that I could actually move that arm, right? And so if I wanted to have him point, right, or do something like that, I could I could do it, and it's going to follow in position. I could curve the arm, and so it'd be really nice to make a little animation where it could curve, right, or just curve the arm up and it would be very fast also as opposed to moving separate movie clips keyframe by keyframe so let's say I want to animate this arm moving up all I gotta do now here's my armature layer is add a frame here let's say on frame 40 so I'll go to frame 40 hit F5 to add a frame here and now what I'll do is I'll just say I'll go five frames out and then click and drag and then go five frames out and then click and drag some more and then five frames out and click and drag just keep doing that and right and now you can see that the motion is pretty fluid right and in the past that would have taken three separate movie clips and um, I would have possibly needed to put them on three separate layers and I would have had to make keyframes and move piece one and then move piece two then move piece three and then so on and so forth um, over and over again and here I was able just to click and drag in the armature because of the bones because of that bone tool was really was able to nice and easily allow me to do that if we can see here we'll do a um, maybe we'll move it back down now let's say it's right up here so then we'll just click and drag and click 
and drag and then click and drag and then and eventually it'll go back so now if I hit control enter you can see that the motion is there it's pretty smooth and the armature is working I have the arm kind of hooked up and it's working pretty good okay now if I wanted to do that with separate movie clips let's take a look at that now too um, with separate movie clips we'll take this leg here and I'll just take this leg and I'll move it over here for now and I'll draw another one so I'll get this paintbrush tool and get like a smaller size maybe way smaller and I'll just you know draw a leg like let's say something like that and I don't really like that that's not really looking pretty good maybe I could just tweak it a little bit to give it a little more character right okay okay so I've drawn this other leg now and I'm still not thinking that it's very good but I just for an example this should work so I want to turn this into three pieces but this time instead of just doing the bones tool on the shape which is actually the easiest way to do it if I wanted to I could convert this into three movie clips so how would I do that well I could say the lasso tool here and I could take this piece right here and basically cut it right and then I could take the lasso tool here and cut let's say this piece right and I'll just use the arrow tool to move it so now the leg is divided up into let's say something like three pieces so now what you would do is you would take each piece hit F8 on your keyboard turn it into a movie clip right take this one hit F8 on my keyboard or F8 is the same as modify convert to symbol right and now for this one I'll hit I'll just do it this way modify convert to symbol we don't need the actions window here right now so I'll just get rid of that also to do this you have to have your publish settings set to action script 3.0 so when you create your flash file it has to be um, an action script 3 enabled flash file not action script 2 the bones tool will only work with action script 3 so if it's not working for you or you don't not able to use it check go to file publish settings and make sure that um, under flash tab under the flash tab action script 3.0 is set make sure you change it to that and then click OK alright so now I have the three pieces here right so I can just kind of put these into position now the way I wanted them um, and I don't think this is going to be as good as the previous way but it shows you how you could do it with multiple movie clips kind of like I did in my other example so now what I'll do is I'll zoom in on this area right and what we want to do is create bones from one to the other right so let's see here so what I do is get the bone tool and go from here to here and then from here to here and then from and then for this I'm gonna put an anchor for this foot maybe maybe I could put make an anchor point for this um, foot but let's see right now if I even need that so if I was to grab this yeah I need something to anchor the toe here oh no I don't not really but I've seen where in certain to anchor the foot to the ground what you could do is create a movie clip and then change make the color invisible eventually so I'll just do that on layer one draw a little circle right
delete the outline, convert it to a movie clip, and then get the bone tool and anchor that to that. So now I can use that to kind of hold on to, to put the foot, anchor the foot to the ground. All right, now I hit control minus. So you use that movie clip as a sort of anchor. Now eventually what you could do is, is just double click on it and change the color to alpha. See if I alpha it down to 10, then it also almost becomes see-through and now you can barely see it, right? So now you can barely see that it's there, but you know it's there, but you could use it to grab onto to move the foot. And you know you can easily I don't know how to get that knee to stick out, but what I'd want to do is be able to play with this so that I could get the knee to stick out and the foot to go out. And I think that there's also ways to, um, and I haven't touched on it yet, how to constrain the movements so that they can only go so far, so that you can't, you know, bend the knee backwards per se. And maybe in a new vid in the next video, I'll show you how to constrain the movements on how the bones will work.